Get out of my way, lady. What? You heard me. Well, of all things, who do you think you are pushing people around like... <gasps> oh, golly, he's a gun. That's right. Neither move or you'll get hurt. Mr. and Mrs. North. Starring Richard Denning and Barbara Britton. Listen as Pam and Jerry solve the mystery, Hostage. At first glance, it would look like any other car in the light mid-morning traffic. But if you took a second look, you could see the difference, perhaps. And the difference you would see would be in the face of the woman behind the wheel and of the man sitting beside her. Fear is reflected in the face of one and cold determination in the other. Well, I'm scared. What if... Watch your driving. Watch out for that truck. That was close. Didn't I tell you to be careful? I'm trying, honey. It's just I'm so jumpy, I can't see straight. Well, steady, baby, steady. With us in a stolen car and me carrying a gun, what if it had been an accident? Don't talk like that. Well, we got plenty of time, Kathy. I just take it easy. Look, it isn't too late. Can't we call it off? Are you kidding? No, I mean it. We, we could get rid of the car and go back to where... No. Joe's waiting for us at the warehouse. It's all set up. I don't care about Joe Kramer. I'm thinking about you. This is the big deal, the one I've been waiting for. A chance at some real dough. I'm not going to back out, and neither are you. Maybe we're better off without that kind of money. Ah, you're beginning to sound just like your old man. Poor but honest. But where did it ever get him, huh? I wasn't talking about my father. You want me to be just like him, a guy who can't even do anything for his sick wife, a jerk who lives in a rat hole and won't even talk to his own daughter. Well, it's just that he... No, shut up. Turn here. What? I said turn here, you dummy. All right, now pull up over there. Keep the motor running. Well, we're early. I don't see Joe, but he isn't due to show up until the pay truck pulls up. Have you got your part straight now? I think so. All right, listen while I go over it again. The pay truck always arrives on schedule. We put on our masks. Joe throws the tear gas. I grab the money. You pick us up and head straight for the Greenwich garage. Straight for the Greenwich garage. Okay. You ditch this car on St. Anne's Place near the garage while I get that car that I picked up yesterday. I'll meet you at the garage at 5. All right. And not one minute later, you understand? Five sharp. Well, please, let Oh, now, don't start that again. But there may be shooting. You could get hurt. They might... I'll cut it. There's not going to be any shooting because it's all going to go off like clockwork. Well, I'm so scared. Oh, snap out of it, will you? <laughs> Listen. If you mess this up for me, I swear I'll use this gun on you before I... Hey, what the... What is it? Look. The pay truck? Yeah, it's early. It's ahead of schedule. Well, you can't. You'll have to call it off. I, I don't know. Now the truck's stopping. Hey, look, there's Joe. Al, he's throwing the tear gas. He's going through with it. I gotta get out there. No, Al, don't, please. <clears throat> Let go of me. Al! Let go of me. Al, come back, come back. Al! Oh, darling, I was just thinking about you. Oh? You asked me to do something today. Oh, I did? Yes. Well? Well, well what, dear? Well, what was it you asked me to do? Uh, well, um... Uh, well? Uh, did, did I ask you to take my gray suit to the cleaners? Did you? Uh, no, 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 that was yesterday. But, by the way, did you take my suit to the cleaners? Don't change the subject. You forgot. Jerry, we're discussing what you asked me to do today, not yesterday. Look, darling, I, I don't remember what it was. Oh, I... Jerry, you're getting terribly forgetful lately. Pam, just... I don't know how you expect me to be of help to you when you can't Pam... remember what you asked me to do. Pam, dear, let's forget it, huh? That's just it, Jerry. We have forgotten it. Well, I'm sure it wasn't important. It probably wasn't. Well, let's see. Um, what was it I called you about? Oh, darling, you didn't call me. I called you. 
You did? <laughs> oh, of course you did. I remember. Well? Well, I, I have a late afternoon appointment downtown, so it won't be necessary for you to pick me up at the office. Are you coming home? No. Uh, listen, wh why don't you meet me at the garage and we'll take off from there and... Wait, I remember. What? <laughs> what you forgot, the check for the garage rent. Oh, yes, of course that was it. I I'll make a note of it right now. Um, right check to Greenwich Garage for storage. Mm -hmm. And uh, you might as well bring it to the garage. All right, Jerry. Uh, what time shall I meet you? Mm, five o'clock. All right. And I'm one minute later, understand? Five sharp. Yes, Anna. Yes. Uh, how are you feeling, Anna? Oh, much better. Good, good. Oh, you're tired. Yeah, a little. And you didn't find anything again today? No, but there was one man who said I should come back next week. He thinks maybe, surely, he'll need some extra help. Uh, not before next week? Well, I'll get something else. Don't worry. Come, it's time for your medicine. I'll help you sit up. Uh, uh, there. Medicine's almost gone. Well, I'll get some more. How? Oh. I'll manage. How? Please, Anna, you mustn't worry. <laughs> mustn't worry. Here now. Think this. That's fine. <coughs> Was there, is there anything in the mailbox? Uh, no, nothing. You sure? Yes, Anna. I was sure we'd hear something from Kathy today. I'll put some water on to fix your cup of tea. Tim. Uh, yes, Anna? You think anything has happened to Kathy? I don't know. And you don't care. Anna. You don't. Your own daughter and you don't care. Did she care anything about herself when she married Al? That doesn't change the fact that Kathy's your daughter and Anna, you please, don't... I, I don't want to talk about it. Now, now you stay there and I... Uh, who could that be? I'll go see. You, you, you try to rest. I'm coming. Hello, Pop. Ah. Get back inside, Pop. Well, what are you... Inside. Now lock it. Why? Well, well, lock what it. do you want? Okay. Now pull those shades. All right. Now listen to me, Pop. Yeah. I'm a... Well, go on, tell her. It's him. Hi, Mama Gentry. Al. Oh. Oh, Al and Kathy, is she? No, no. I, I'm alone. I'm in trouble. Yeah. With the police? Yeah. Al, oh, what is it? What's happened? Where's Kathy? C Kathy's... Oh, well, she's all right. But where is she? Well, never mind. She, she's okay. Well, what are you doing here? I need help. Get out. Now, listen, Pop. Get I'll... out or I'll call the police. Look, Pop, this jam I'm in, it's not just me. Kathy's in it, too. Oh, no. Up to her ears. I don't care. I... Yeah. Look, you old fool, do you think I'd come to you if I had any other choice? Me and Kathy are in trouble, bad trouble. Now, you've got to help us. I wouldn't lift a finger to help you if you... And you're... Kathy? What about her? She's your problem. Yeah, you don't. Okay. All right. All right. Strictly business, then. I need a job done, and I'm willing to pay for it. <gasps> Where'd you get all that money? From an armored truck that was full of the stuff. A thousand of it's yours, Pop. One thousand dollars. Now, do you want it? Get out of here. Get out of here. Think before... about the money, Pop. Thank good you can move out of this rat trap. You can get the old lady the stuff she has to have to put her back on her feet. I can take care of my own. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. You're doing a great job of it, aren't you? We won't take your money, Al. But if Kathy's in trouble... Then Tim must help you no matter what he says. No. Well, he takes care of his own. You're still her father. You can't change that. I didn't force her to run around with riffraff. I didn't turn her into a thief. No, and you never gave her anything to live for, to hope for. You blame me? Only if you blame her for the places she's had to live. The only friends she could meet. The things she could never have. And if you don't do this, this one thing to help her... I'll spend the rest of my life hating you. Anna. I mean it, Tim. What is it you want me to do? All right. There's a car. A gray sedan. 
The Greenwich Garage off St. Anne's Place in the village. Uh, here, here, here's the license number. Oh, it's been a long time since I've driven an automobile. Well, you'll make up. Here's the key and a couple of bucks for a cab. When you pick up the car, drive it back here and park it in the alley. Now, you got it straight? <laughs> yes. All right, come on, I'll let you out. Just a minute, Pop. Well? Here, take a look at this. A gun? Keep your voice down. No use scaring the old lady unless we have to. What do you mean? I killed one of the guards on that armored truck, and you know what that means if I'm caught. So get this. It's 425 right now. If you're not back in an hour, one hour and alone, or I'll kill the old lady. Why, Look, you... I'm giving you my word, Pop. Kill one or a dozen that don't make any difference. After the first one. Sam, are you sure you've got the check for the garage rent with you? I, I want to pay them before we take the car out. It's right here in my bag, Jerry. Mm. Oh, let me see. Shopping list. Recipe for cocoa vam. Memorandum call cleaning woman. Memorandum right check to Greenwich Garage. Here it is. Oh, good. I I'll give the check to Gus. I'll get the car. <laughs> okay, darling. Just a minute. Oh, aren't you in the wrong car? Cassie. What? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. In this light, I, I thought for a minute you were my daughter. Oh, that's all right. We both made a mistake. For a minute, I thought you were driving off with our car. They're twins, but ours is over there across the aisle. Sorry. <laughs> Have you had yours for very long? What? Uh, no, no, not long. Do, do, you, do, do you know what time it is? Well, sure, it's just a couple of minutes past five. I suppose you past know that... Five. <laughs> You'll never get it started that way. So, so, so. What is it? What, what, what's wrong? Oh, the key. Here, let me turn it. Now, I'll go ahead. Uh, there, see how easy it is? Out of my way, lady. Hey, who, who do you think you're shoving with that... That gun! Right, hold it, mister. You got to pass. But you can't get in here. This forty-five I'm holding says I can. Jerry! Now, get us out of here fast or I'll blow you wide open. Jerry! Hey, stop! Come back here! Oh, golly! Jerry! Jerry! Yeah. Darling, what's the matter? Did you see that car that just went speeding out of here? Yeah, what about it? Well, come on, I'll tell you about it on the way. On our way where? To wherever that car is going. The old man who's driving it is being kidnapped or something. We've got to follow him. All right, now just keep her rolling nice and easy and don't forget about this gun that's pointing at you. Oh, who are you and what, what do you want? What do you think? Are you... Are you the police? Huh? Guess again, old-timer. I'm Joe Kramer. Uh, Joe Kramer? What's the matter? Don't you read the newspapers? I'm the guy that's worth ten grand, dead or alive. Me and that guy you're taking me to see. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. Just don't get any ideas and we'll get along. Where's Al Collins hiding now? What? I can't tell you. Don't be a comedian, Pop. You're taking this car to him right now and I'm keeping you company all the way. But, but, but you can't do that if... If I don't come back alone, he'll, he'll kill my wife. That's your worry, pal. He's got my money, and I'm going to get my money, and you're going to take me to him. All right, I, I'll tell you where he is, but, but you, you've got to let me see him alone first. You've got to... Yeah, so you can dip him off, and he can set me up like a click pigeon? Not a chance. I won't tell him about you. I swear I won't. Yeah? How come? How do you figure in this deal, anyway? Who are you? What's your angle? My name is Gentry. Al Collins is my... He, he, he's married to my daughter. You're, you're Kathy's old man. You know my daughter? Yeah, she's a good kid. Kind of dumb, maybe, to fall for a guy like Collins, but a good kid. Sorry, Pop. Sorry? Well, what happened to her? Collins shouldn't have dragged her along. She wasn't the type. What are you talking about? You mean you don't know? No, what? About... About Kathy. What about her? She's dead. Dead? She got it while we were pulling away from the job. Oh. Look, I... I no! Take it easy. It isn't true! Just relax. I don't believe it. You're lying. Why should I lie about it? They got Kathy and Al drove off without me. I took out after him, but I lost him. Al, he... He knows Kathy's dead? Sure, didn't I just finish telling you? Hey, look, Pop, I think there's a car following. He knew that she was dead. He knew it all the time. It don't look like the cops, but I can't take a chance. Better step on it. All the time he was asking me for help. He knew that she was dead. What? Listen, I told you to step on it. You hear me? Yes. Yes, I hear you. 
Hey, look out, you crazy fool. Your head is that... Hey, look out! We've got to get them out of there. So, oh, the door's jammed in against the post. Let's try this one. No, here's moving. Ah, oh. oh, there. Oh, that does it. Oh, they're both out cold. Uh, no, no, wait. The old man's moving. Uh, Is he badly hurt? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I'm all right. Oh, you're, you're the girl I, I thought was Kathy. How did... oh, Easy, fellow. You've had a rough time. Pam, help him over to our car. Uh, the other fellow looks like he's in bad shape. All right. Come along, Mr. Uh, Gentry. Uh, Tim Gentry. Oh, uh, well, somebody call an ambulance, please. Yeah. Okay. Here. Yeah, now lean on me and ease yeah. yourself down onto the seat. Yeah. Oh, there. That's fine. Hey, wait. Now, uh, what time is it? i got to get back. What time? You just relax. Uh, tell me the time. I have to know the time. He, he'll kill Anna. It's uh, ten after five. Who will kill him? What are you doing? Hey, hey stop that. Jerry! Jerry! What is it, ma'am? He must be crazy. He stole our car. Uh, hey, Don, are you? Yes, Lieutenant. Uh, where are Mr. and Mrs. North? Waiting in your car, Lieutenant. All right. Uh, let me through here, please. Pardon me, ma'am. Hey, let me through. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I want to talk to you, too. Hey, well, what about our car, Bill? Do, do you think that... I've got something more to worry about at the moment than your car, Jerry. But it's true. About the man they just took away in the ambulance, I mean. Sergeant Donahue said he's wanted for armed robbery and murder. Yes, he and a man named Collins. But Collins is still on the loose. But not for long, if what Pam told the officer on the beat is true. What do you mean, Bill? You said the old man who was driving the car told you his name was Gentry. Tim Gentry, right? Yes. You're sure of that? Positive. Then it fits. What fits? After we identified the girl who was killed in that armored car hold of a Collins' wife, we dug up a copy of her marriage license to get her maiden name. Did you? Yeah. It was Kathy Gentry. Gentry? The old man's name. He's probably her father. Lieutenant? Uh, yes, Donna, you? Headquarters just radioed the Gentry's address. What is it? 836 King. Okay, Donahue, get in. Want me to drive? Yes, and fast. Okay. Oh, uh, one more thing, Pam. You said Kramer had a gun in his hand when he forced his way into the car. Yes. Well, we didn't find it on him, and it wasn't any place in or around the wrecked car. Well, that's odd. What do you suppose happened to it? Well, I... I hope I'm wrong, but... But what, Bill? I'm afraid that the old man has the gun. What the devil happened to him? Where is he? He should have been here ten minutes ago. Tim will be here soon. Al, why don't you... Why don't you sit down and tell me about Kathy? What? Kathy? What about Kathy? How's she feeling? How does she look? Oh, it's been so long since I've seen her. She's all right. I tell you, she's all right. But where is she? Why didn't she... Will you shut up about Kathy? Uh, All right, Al. Listen. What? Sounds like a car. No, no, it isn't. Well, I'm not sticking around here any longer. Something must have happened to Tim. Maybe, but I made him a little promise, and before I go, I'm going to keep it. Tim! Tim! It's about time. Anna! Tim! Get in here. Anna, are you all right? Yes, Tim. I gave you a break, Pop. Is the car in the alley? Yeah. Okay. But you're not going to use it. Tim! Put up your hand, Tim. A gun. Why did you... Pop! Up high! Okay. Now... The left hand, very slowly. Take out your gun and, and drop it on Anna's bed. Slowly. Okay. All right. Take your gun, Anna. What? Now what are you going to do? I'm going to telephone the police. Jim! Aren't you forgetting something, Pop? If I go to the chair, Kathy goes with me. Jim, please, you mustn't... Listen to me, Anna. Don't move, out. Anna. Kathy is... She's dead. Kathy. She was killed in the holdup, and he knew it. He knew it all along. No. Kathy. No, she can't be. And she isn't. What? Who told you she was killed, Pop? Your friend, Joe Kramer. Joe Where'd you see him? Never mind all that. Well, let me tell you something, Pop. Joe was lying. Why should he lie? I don't know, but Kathy's okay. She was hurt just a little. That's why she didn't come with me, but she's going to be all right. Is this true, Al? I swear I it. don't believe you. She's waiting for me right now over at our place in Queens. Telephone her. We don't have a phone. Look. 
Pop, listen. I'm telling you the truth. Kathy's alive. She's all right. Mama Gentry, you believe me, don't you? You gotta believe me. I'm telling you the truth. You're lying. No. Look, Mama Gentry, listen to me. Both of you, would you listen to me? Just let me get out of here. No! Let me go to Kathy. Just give me an hour. Just one hour and I'll prove Kathy's alive. I'll have her call you right here in just one hour. Huh? Listen, if the cops take me, they take her and we go to the chair, both of us. Jim. We're going to let him go. Anna. Put down that telephone. Anna, you... Put it down. She's got my gun, Pop. You better... Shut up! Anna, you don't know what you're doing. Yes, I do, Tim. Now put that telephone down. Anna, you can't believe him. Kathy's dead. I say she isn't. Anna, can't you see? This is just a trick. Put that telephone down. All right, Anna. Thanks, Mama Gentry. Okay, Pop, give me the gun. Okay, kid. Where are you going? I don't know. Tim. I'll call your sister, Anna. Tell her you're alone. Hey, come back here. You're not going anywhere. No. You're going to the cops. Perhaps I am. I don't know. Send your own daughter to the electric chair. Yes, Annie. If she's still alive, and that's where she belongs. Wait a minute, Pop. You heard me, didn't you? You're not going anywhere. Then who's going to stop me? You with that gun, or you, Anna, with that one? I'm telling you, Pop. You try to go out that door, and you're dead. I am already. Jim, don't. Please, stay here. Goodbye, Anna. <laughs> Okay, this is the place. Come on, Donahue. Oh, uh, Pam and Jerry, you two stay here in the car. Oh, but Bill, we are... Bill, Jerry, those were gunshots. I'm upstairs. Let's go. Come on. What is it? What Police is it? officers, what is it? where's Gentry's apartment? Gentry? Gentry's one flight up at a stairway, but what is Come on. going on? Oh, no. Here it is, Bill. Police, open up. Open up in there. Come in, officer. Where's Collins? Right there on the floor, officer. It was Anna, my wife. I tried to leave to go for the police, and Anna shot him. And I... I don't get it. It just doesn't make sense. Collins was wounded with his own gun in the hands of Mrs. Gentry. And he had Joe Kramer's gun, the gun Mr. Gentry took out of the wrecked car. Uh, I, I can't figure out how they got switched around like that. Can't Mr. Gentry explain it? Probably, but he won't. When I question him, all he says is everybody makes mistakes. And you can forgive a mother for wanting to protect her own daughter. Protect your own daughter? But Kathy Collins is dead. What's he mean by that? Yeah, well, you tell me. Oh, well, Collins and Kramer behind bars. I guess that's the main thing. Uh, I'd, I'd like to talk to Mr. Gentry, Bill. Well, talk to him about what? Well, Jerry has a job for him in his office. Well, you better find someone else, Jerry. Gentry's in jail. Jail? What for? On charge of grand theft. Auto. He stole your car, remember? Are you by any chance referring to the time Mr. Gentry borrowed our car because of an emergency? Uh, borrowed your car? Borrowed, borrowed our, our car. car. Oh. Well, in that case, I guess Mr. Gentry can start to work almost any time. Well, that concludes another adventure with Mr. and Mrs. North. Adventures of Mr. and Mrs. North are brought to you through the facilities of the United States Armed Forces Radio Service.